Myla Nurmi, who really was Vampira, from Finland. She came to Hollywood in the 40s, got work as a dancer in uh, like the Moulin Rouge, actually it was called Errol Carroll Theatre back in the 40s. And then later wound up connecting up with KABC TV to show horror movies as the sexiest, scariest movie hostess for old horror movies there ever was. And when I saw her come down that hallway on the opening of the show and let out that scream, I was just a kid. She shook me up. I was turned on and scared at the same time. And I watched almost every week for quite a while. And as a couple more years went by, I saw her in Plan 9 from Outer Space as a ghoul, but still it was so good to see her on that screen. Years went by again. We're now in the early 60s. I'm kind of in and out of my parents' house at this period of my life. And I was back in the house at this time when a phone call came. And it sounded something like this. Hello, I'm calling from the Hollywood Health and I'm having cocktails with Vampira, and we'd like you to join us. Well, the sound of that voice sort of scared me off, you know, and I said, thanks, but no thanks. But what came over me was the reality that maybe she's more accessible than I thought she would be. Maybe I really will somehow meet her. Didn't happen right away. Around 40 years after that phone call, I was in a McDonald's in East Hollywood, Las Feliz area. I saw her because I had heard she does come in this place, this particular burger joint. At first, she seemed shorter and a little bit wider than I imagined her, but you know, this is 40 years later. But when she turned to me, I had those same beautiful Finnish piercing blue eyes and that voice so lovably uh, pompous in her voice, like a theatrical actress with a lot of class, a lot of polish. With the glasses on there, that's how she looked. And I was thrilled to meet her. And we sat and talked right away. And I did start frequenting that particular hamburger spot. And sure enough, I got my old VW bug fired up and took her around town and we ran some errands for her a couple of lunches together and we had a couple of spats she would uh, get angry sometimes for the smallest reason and really blow her stack and you know what I couldn't win I had to just say this is vampire she can get away with it and she did too because I would be back the next day to see her and we would have our coffee all over again talk about the old days. She told me a lot about the original days in Hollywood. And she was a beautiful woman in her youth and a beautiful woman with the age too. She was great and I do miss her. And so many of you miss her too, I know that for a fact. Myla Norme, we lost her in 2008. Hope I got that right, eight, yeah. We'll miss her so much, and we have. Bye-bye.